whenever any people colonize another people anywhere in the world, the first thing they do is impose their language on the colonized. They impose their language on the colonized. Not only do they impose their language on the colonized, they make the colonized despise their own languages. So it's not a question of knowing a new language. It's a question of being made humiliated relative to your own language and getting glory relative to the colonizer's language. So you come to associate intelligence, power, something else, or with say English in our case, in the case of Kenya, or French, or Portuguese can be nowhere, right? And you can't have a, a negative attitude towards your own languages, and you don't know why, you just do it, you know? If someone speaks in English, you can see, oh, wow, intelligence, oh, wonderful. Huh? They speak in their mother tongue, oh, and you know, oh, why? I, this guy, has he been to England, as he's telling us, <laughs> right? Yeah, you know, or, 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 you know, and you can try this. Uh, a person comes and says, I have, I'm very learned, I know, I know Italian, I know English, I know Italian, I know French, I know maybe Russian, you know, huh? and people say, oh, wow, right, with the eyes open, okay? Another person comes and says, I also know many languages. I know Luo, I know uh, uh, Maasai, I know Yoruba, Igbo, Zulu, Kikamba. And they will say, oh, but why? In other words, you talk about the African languages, you know, they'll be wondering why you, are you wasting time learning so many languages? But with French and Italian, they are wowed by that. Okay. All that's a part of the conditioning. It has nothing to do with languages where they are or this or this, you know, is the conditioning that makes us feel negative towards our yeah, 